At the number 5 spot, we have the M13. This gun is the easiest AR to use in this list. It is good overall, and it can fit with different playstyles. It has the fastest fire rate among all the ARs in the game, while having absolutely no recoil. Damages and range aren't the best, but they are fine considering how easy it is to beam with this gun. Now for the gunsmith, you can use three different types of builds. The first one being what people usually go with, it is pretty much the most versatile build you can use. If you have better aim, you can use this second build. It doesn't have the 60 round mag, but it has better mobility and range, which makes it better for close range fights and a bit more efficient at mid range. But at longer ranges, the slightly worse BSA makes it a bit worse than the first build. However, if you want to play a bit more passive, you can try this third build. It has a way better range alongside a better BSA and lower recoil, which makes it a pure laser from mid to long range. Moving on to the fourth spot, we got the Type 25. It's kind of the opposite of the M13 on one point because it's not that easy to use. The Type 25 only has 30 bullets and the reload speed isn't quick enough to make us forget that. You need to be really careful so spend your ammo wisely and be mindful of when you reload so you don't put yourself at a disadvantage. You just have to think a bit more about your bullets management which may be a bit hard at the beginning but with a bit of practice you won't even have to think about it. And when it's not an issue anymore you'll surely be able to exploit the full potential of this weapon with this gunsmith. You can 4 shot kill your enemy consistently in the first range and you can extend this up to 26 meters if you aim in the chest or the head and it has one of the fastest time to kill achievable with an AR with 210 milliseconds of time to kill. After that second range drop it is still pretty good but the bad iron sight and the weird recoil pattern may put you in trouble. At the third place of the podium we have the Peacekeeper MK2. It was the best AR in the previous season and even after the nerf it is still one of the best. It still has one of the best strafe in all the ARs in the game which makes it pretty good at mid-range. It has good damages with a potential 4-shot kill going up to 31 meters with the gunsmith we use. With this, you also have a really good overall mobility, no recoil, a very low flinch even after the nerf, and pretty much no big downside. And here's the gunsmith we use for it, which is the same as from last season. At the second spot, we have the Kilo 141. It is kinda like the Peacekeeper in one aspect. It has no real downside, but it is slightly better than the Peacekeeper with an easier to control recoil, better BSA, more bullets and of course better damage in range. And side note, Hilo's playstyle is closer to Krig's playstyle than the Peacekeeper and that means you'll be more capable of beating Krig 6 users than with a Peacekeeper because you're playing on the same rhythm. It's a fuzzy concept but trust me, the gunsmith for the Kilo is the same as always. Now for the first spot, we mentioned it a few seconds ago, it is the Krig 6. For now it isn't used much due to a sound bug in the game but it is the most efficient gun in the game right now. A potential 3 shot kill in the first range, a really easy easy to control recoil, a large mag, it is honestly a Kilo 141 preener for the better strafe. For the gunsmith, we slightly improved from the top 10 video and here's all the different combinations you can use. After trying all these steps, are you confident you could beat anyone in a 1v1? Well, Beef Mommy was too confident so we went ahead and fought it out with a gaming phone on the line. Who won? Well, you can find out right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.